right, it's been a while. Um, I'm here to show you all about the Three Little Pigs theme, which we've done recently. I'm doing it with our swimmers this week, and it's going to be so good. I've just done it tonight with the older ones, uh, and it's worked really, really well. So it's a good one for all ages, I hope. Um, so I've got the sheets here. So this is, if you go onto the website, www.aquaticroleplay.com, you can download these, and they're all... I just laminate my thing into the pool side just to help me remember. So you're going to need some straw. I'm using today some lengths of ribbon, so I've just cut some ribbon up. Um, you could you could use some scarves as well. Um, you're going to need some sticks. Um, you could use the half woggles. I don't have enough of those, so I'm just going to use diving sticks. It'll work because the kids have got a great imagination, so you can always improvise and it always works really well. Um, bricks, I've got some of these bricks, little small square cubed ones. I do have the long ones as well. Um, I think these are a nicer shape. And I have some little pigs. Um, so you don't need the pigs, you can pretend about the pigs. But with the pig just hides nicely behind these. Okay. Um, what else do we need? Maybe a submersible large hoop um, and some buoyancy aids if that's what you want, some woggles or turtle packs, whatever they kind of use. So the, for the warm up, I've got down that we're going to do um, funny piglets. So we're just going to have a little bit of fun warming up, getting into those swim practices and really engaging that imagination because um, the more enthralled they are, the more they're going to learn and the more they're going to try and in interpret what you're asking them to do. Um, so we're going to tell them, you know, who's heard of the Three Little Pig story uh, and get, get them going from there. So first of all, we'll do Piglet's Tails. So for Piglet's Tails, we could do some um, vertical rotation, get them to turn around like this. Or we could do some horizontal rotation where they're laid down and they're rolling around horizontally. Um, so those are the piglet's tails. We could do some round arms, because those are nice and round as well, like round piglet tails. And we can do, of course, the push and glides where we rotate, or we tuck and roll and swim back. Whatever it is, what skill it is that you need to put in, that's what we'll do. Um, we could also have rolling in mud. Um, so again, you've got those lovely horizontal rotations, forward rolls maybe, washing the face in mud, treading water, squelch, 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 squelch welch in the mud um, you can do the sculling so you can like you can't see my hips from there but you can kind of, like wash that mud off your side to get this the sculling action in um, and don't forget because they're now covered in mud they're going to have a good old wash afterwards and um, so that's what they can do there we could have um, little trotters where we talk about the little trotters doing paddle or round arms um, we could shake the trotters we could do some fast floppy legs so once we've got into the mode of being a pig or whatever we're going to move on to building the houses so what i've done today is i've got these i've got these from a, a website called swim in i think it's dot com um but i'm guessing jpl lots of places will sell them and it's, it's, it's quite cute if you can like see the size it's kind of small but so i have these at one side of the pool because we're still working to covid restrictions so my my swimmers are two metres apart, but we have our own kind of width of the pool. Um, it would work in circuits as well if you want to line up the pigs and as they went past, they could put on their ribbon. So, pig at one side. I'm going for three ribbons at the other side and they swim and they're just going to drape it over. Once they've completed the two or three, maybe some kids are faster, some are slower, um, we're going to huff and we're going to puff and we're going to try and blow the pig over and of course we'll help it along. Um, where it's necessary. So for the hoofing and puffing, we're really trying to get them to get their mouths in the water and blow out. Um, so that's the purpose of that. Then we're going to do the twigs because the straw wasn't good enough, was it? Like I say, I'm using diving sticks and diving hoops, but we've got a good imagination. And we're just going to kind of like hang them onto the pig. And again, we'll puff and we'll puff. And each time we're doing it, we could maybe just do um, floppy legs like straw flopping for the legs and then when they're doing the sticks they could do some things they could even dive under the water to get the sticks if you've got an advanced class that are happy doing things like that and then we're going to go for the bricks they've each got four bricks each and they'll transport them across and put building the pig 
now we're going to huff and puff and it's not going to work. So if anybody remembers the story, the wolf has to climb out to jump down the chimney. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to climb on out the pool so we're getting that good, you know, elbow, elbow, tummy, knees to climb out, that good independence. And then we're going to stand on the edge with our toes over, bend our knees and we're going to jump in if we've got the depth. If you haven't got the depth, you might want to move to an area where they can safely do it or have a parent catch them. Um, once we're inside the house, because we've jumped down the chimney, what happens to the wolf? Well, he, he either ends up in soup or he burns his tail on the fire. So if ours have been burning the tails on the fire, if they're not, you know, if they're a bit sensitive, then maybe you might want to go for landing in the swimming pool or in a bowl of soup. But what we did is, it, and it really worked, they really keep the legs so fast, like, you your toes are on fire, kick, 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 kick. Slightly maybe a bit inappropriate, so you've got to judge it by your audience and by the children that are there. If you know, if you don't know them, maybe just go for jumping down the chimney and leave it at that. Um, so yeah, so going back to the straw, you could do like your flutter kicks, your dolphin kick, you do your paddle arms, your breaststroke arms, um, the house of sticks. Again, you can do the same things. Maybe you could get them doing some like front crawls, so they're like big long sticks, kind of coming into the house um, so that's that and then so that was the main activity and then afterwards if you've got time because it depends on how fast they are at swimming because they've done a lot of repetition there and um, you know the three straw the couple of sinkers the bricks it's quite a lot of backwards and forwarding we're going to do some roof walking and chimney jumping so again it's climbing out up onto the side or you could get the big floating mat and climb onto the mat um, you can make like a little mini assault course if you wanted. Uh, balance on the mat, can they sit on it, can they stand on it, can they crawl on it, um, whatever to their ability, it's really good for the vestibular to kind of get them to balance, good for the core strength as well. Um, and then of course the chimney jumping, just jumping off the wall because they love it. Uh, you get that um, transition to independence where they're jumping in and either turning and swimming back to the wall or jumping in and swimming to a caregiver. Um, I've also got to do, I've not done this before, but I've just tied up some of these mats together and I'm either going to have it on the big mat, I'm going have it on the big mat, but basically I'm going to see if they'll crawl through it. I'm not sure how it's going to work, but I'll find out. It's always good to have a little experiment. Um, these pigs, by the way, the goat is a perfect size for a woggle. They're going to woggle really well. So, um, songs that we're going to sing, this little piggy went to market. If you've done kind of things like the Water's Touch course with um, Joe Aquacentury, you could um, add a bit of massage into there as well. and. Um, things. We're going to have Here is the Beehive because it's a type of home, isn't it? A hive, a straw, the stick house. Um, sleeping piglets instead of sleeping bunnies. Um, three little pigs went swimming one day instead of the ducks. Uh, Old MacDonald had a farm. So there's lots of songs that you can sing. And, and with the songs, again, you've got actions that you can do that's going to really um, enable that child to be more unique and to be physically and cognitively more more developmentally aware. So some little ideas for older swimmers. So what I did today is I got them in, split them into two teams. So we had split the pool in half because again, we're socially distancing. So we're trying to just do laps of the pool, but we had which team could build the toilet house around the pig. And they really loved it. They just kept swimming um, and stuff. So that was good. Um, you could then get them to do the sinkers as well. They could do the diving sticks. They could do the ribbons, but to be honest, it'd probably just um, get in the way. But you could also do some do a sculling race with the ribbons. So they could do sculling to do the house of straw. They could do the diving sticks, the house of sticks, and then the, the competition of who can collect the most bricks in. We have um, wolf tag. So instead of scarecrow tag, um, they could play a game where they swim and if you get tugged by the wolf then you have to stand like this or like this. Um, we've got um, what time is it Mr Wolf? That's always a good one where the parent stands with the back to the child or the, sorry the child has the back and the parent tells them they've got to swim a little bit. Um, 
and what have I put for younger babies? So a nice gentle approach. We can still do the activities, but maybe slower. Be careful of them biting the stuff and eating it. Maybe get some stuff that's a little bit more robust and a bit more tactile for the babies. Um, I've got a little woggle bridge. So today I've got curly pigtails. So they'll swim under looking up. And there's no risk of entanglement. They're tied on nice and safely and they're with the parent. There. Um, what else have we got? Um, we could maybe do some mirroring where you, the parents and the um, baby are looking at each other and they're going to huff and puff together. <gasps> and to see whether they copy. We could have the mirrors and we could pull scary faces in and funny faces. So lots of things like that. Um, jumping and splashing in muddy puddles, rolling around in mud. It's, yeah, it's going to be amazing. I can't wait. Um, thank you and goodbye. Don't forget, um, this theme is free on the website, www.aquaticroleplay.com. Just go on there and download it. There's some other free ones on there. Um, join our Facebook page, our Instagram. Lots of ideas on there that we post. Thank you. Bye.